Hi everyone and welcome back to the Little Miss Funeral YouTube channel. This video is going to be part one of a two-part little video series that I want to make for my channel and it's on the topic of pet loss. So for this video, if you couldn't tell by the title, I am talking about how I don't believe I could ever work in pet loss. Now for people who have followed my blog, that's where I started out. I started blogging in 2002 and if you are a follower of mine from back then, you would have followed my journey through writing and in that writing I do talk about the loss of my childhood dog bandits. Bandit passed away in March of 2014. He was 14 years old at the time and he was with me throughout all of the big years of my life. I got him when I was nine years old and he ended up passing away right before I got married when I was 24 years old. And when Bandit died, that was my first ever experience losing a pet. He was the first dog that I had ever had and his loss was one of the hardest deaths that I have ever had to go through. Now being a funeral director, as Bandit was getting older, I recognized the signs of him slowing down. I used to call him my old man as he got a little bit older because he would just lay around and sleep and kind of be my cuddle bud all day. And in his last two years of life, we had a couple of different instances where we had scares with his health. So his death was something that I thought a lot about in the last two years that he was with me. I will talk about this a little bit more, the details of his death in part two of this little video series, but when he did pass away, it was very important for me to take him to a funeral home. And we have in my community a really amazing pet funeral home that I did take him to. And that was one of the most positive experiences in the entire journey from losing bandits. And I remember sitting down when we had taken him to the funeral home. The funeral director had already taken him from us and I was just sitting down and filling out the paperwork just as if somebody were to be sitting down with me filling out paperwork for their loved one. And I made that comment to the funeral director that I was sitting with, well, the pet funeral director that I was sitting with. I told him that I was a funeral director and that it was different being on the other side of things, even if it was for my pet. And in that moment, I told him that I could never do what he was doing. And he had confided in me and told me that he is always looking for help because the people that he hires do not last very long. And I completely understand that. As a funeral director for people, when I have their survivors sitting in front of me, in a lot of instances, the people that have passed away have lived long, wonderful lives, and it's expected that they were going to pass away. But as people, we are not perfect, and we can kind of hold grudges sometimes with our loved ones because of that. When it comes to our animals and when it comes to our pets, we have this unconditional love between us. We can yell at our dog for barking and five minutes later they are wagging their tails coming up to us wanting to cuddle because they just don't have that capacity to hold a grudge. And because of that, the love that we share between an animal is very pure. And it's a different kind of love than what we share between another human. I'm not saying it's better than the kind of love that we share between a human because now that I'm a mom, the love that I have for my daughter surpasses anything else. But still, the love that we have for our animals are just so different and so unbelievably pure. This funeral director, when I had lost my dog, had shared with me that he had to call crisis intervention numerous times because he felt that the people walking out of his pet funeral home were not going to be okay. And I think that for me personally, seeing that raw emotion, being around that sort of loss day in and day out, 
felt would be just too much for me to handle. I wouldn't be able to see these people saying goodbye to their pets, um, especially, you know, in instances where maybe an animal got hit by a car and they were bringing them to the pet funeral home then. A very unexpected death, at least for me with Bandit, I had some time to realize that this was the road that we were headed down. I'm interested especially to hear from other funeral directors watching this video right now. Is pet loss something that you want to get into? Is pet loss something that you think you could handle? Personally, like I was saying, it would just be too much for me to bear over and over. When it comes to my animals and when it comes to the pets in my life, I definitely want to be involved for every one of their deaths when it does occur, but as a whole, it would just be way too emotional for me to deal with serving others in that part of funeral service. If you liked this video, you can always give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time.